Well, we have officially reached a new level of anti-trans paranoia around the world, and if you've been paying attention, then it's not necessarily surprising that we're on this trajectory, but things are getting more ridiculous. Transvestigators have suspected that Daniel Radcliffe's cis girlfriend is trans. They've mocked a cis rabbi with PCOS for being trans. A nine-year-old little girl was accused of being trans at a sporting event because of her pixie haircut. And after Brock Lesnar's daughter, Maya Lesnar, broke the shot put record at Colorado State, it didn't take long for transvestigators to get on that case as well, questioning if she's actually his son, calling her a dude, and saying that she's trans as if it's a matter of fact, and also referencing the Daily Wire's transphobic movie Lady Ballers, which is about cis men who dress as women to play women's sports. But apparently, video game characters aren't even safe either, because after Rockstar released his trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6, blue check accounts on Twitter quickly tried to astroturf a story about its main character, Lucia, being trans trans in order to farm engagement. Rolling Stone reports, this theory is based on nothing more than vibes. The trailer reveals nothing about Lucia other than that she has spent time in prison and robs convenience stores with a male accomplice when she's not behind bars. We don't even know who voices the character, but on a rancid platform like Elon Musk's X, formerly Twitter, engagement at any cost is the name of the game. Indeed, while some GTA fans were distraught at the idea of role-playing as a trans woman, others, including right-wing podcaster Tim Poole seemed to revel in the possible divisiveness of such a narrative choice. Now, as you can see, Keemstar, aka Drama Alert, tweeted first look at GTA 6 female protagonist. She is rumored to be transgender. Franklin Sugar Mama. Now, for those who don't know, Franklin is one of the main characters from GTA 5. Now, his source is a thread on Reddit from a year ago that got no attention, where a poster pulls the idea out of their ass that the main character will be trans. But I think he knows that there's no evidence for this claim. However, the goal, as the article points it out, is to generate engagement. That means you start a conversation that that will get people talking and cultivating transphobic backlash against a company that has already been accused of going woke is certainly going to do that now to be fair most people were just mocking him for pulling the idea out of his ass which is still engagement by the way but nonetheless transvestigators were still on the case this person pointed out that he believed to see an adam's apple on lucia now other people voiced their concern too quote if the main character of gta is transgender they can keep it if that's true the game will flop i promise go woke you will go broke. Follow us if you agree. Also trying to farm more engagement, but I promise you they are wrong. This game is going to be the biggest game ever, but regardless, this person says, if this bitch Lucia in GTA 6 is transgender, I swear on my life that I'm never going to participate in this bullshit. There are things more important than a game. Now, as the article mentioned, Tim Pool even joined in tweeting, oh, please, 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 please be true. Now, Tim Pool is kind of giving away the game here because he knows that if Rockstar were to do this, which I think would be awesome, but if they did this, then conservatives would be outraged and he could make millions of dollars potentially generating views and clicks off of their outrage. So to him, this would be very profitable, which is why he's in favor of it. He might be anti-trans, but this trans representation would be significant and he knows conservatives would be pissed. So that's why he wants to see it happen. He's, he's telling on himself here. But for those who are unaware, Rockstar was accused of going woke more than a year ago now when they made it clear that they were not going to include racist and transphobic jokes in the game. And also, IGN explains, close to 10 years after its original release, Rockstar has quietly removed a handful of characters and jokes from Grand Theft Auto V that critics have described as harmful stereotypes of transgender people. As community members have pointed out, the changes follow an open letter from Outmaking Games asking Rockstar Games to remove the content, which was described as transphobic as far back as the original release in 2013. A follow-up article on Kotaku also called for the removal of the content in the new-gen releases. Now, for those unaware, new-gen releases simply refers to the newest consoles on the market like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S and X. But GTA has long been satirical. That's what the franchise is. It's similar to South Park for those who are unaware. But I think that them not making jokes at the expense of trans people and black people is a really good thing because that makes for better satire. So it makes it more accurate. But I mean, conservative backlash isn't just going to be over the game going woke, even though that's kind of what we've come to expect, because there are other issues that conservatives take with the game. Now, just to kind of give you some context, the same people who often refer to the left as snowflakes are melting down over GTA because they find it offensive. Now, you probably already saw this, but Elon Musk famously tweeted, 
He tried to play GTA, but he didn't like doing crime. GTA 5 required shooting police officers in the opening scene. He just couldn't do it. Now, I just want to pause right there to make something very clear. Grand Theft Auto is a video game. It is not real. <laughs> you are literally shooting at pixels on the screen. And this is something that is depicted in movies. It's depicted in music. But when it comes to video games, Elon Musk is so offended that he can't continue the video game. Now, I don't believe him. I think he probably did play it and is just pandering to right wingers. But this is so embarrassing. I don't understand why video games have so much scrutiny compared to other forms of media. Video games, they are the largest form of media. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and we're still pretending as if it's the 1990s and uh, they're making kids violent. It's just so stupid. It's such a boomer mindset from Elon Musk, but it's exactly what you'd expect from this dipshit. Now, speaking of dipshits, Miles Ian Chong responded to Elon Musk saying, I'm glad shooting cops in Cyberpunk 77 is completely optional. Never finished GTA 5 either. Now, I've got to point out the community note here that absolutely clapped his cheeks. It says Ian Miles Chong has written up to 255 Gamer Ranks articles covering GTA 5, including descriptions of personally killing or evading virtual police in game single player mode. So they're all just farming engagement, such dipshits. Now the Tate brothers who have been accused of sex trafficking denounced the violence in the game, the violent themes in particular, which is uh, certainly ironic. Let's just let the irony set for a moment because holy shit. Now there were even calls to ban the game. Quote, GTA 6 is only one piece of the mass social engineering project to permanently rot the personalities, values, and ambitions of young men. The only ones who defend this new form of simulated softcore porn, OnlyFans, Pornhub, and more are already rotted and in denial. Hashtag ban GTA 6. We need to stand against the increasing cultural decay of our country that rots the brains of the people, especially the youths, assaulting their minds with sex, drugs, and all forms of degeneracy. Hashtag ban GTA 6. Does he say the same for movies? I wonder. Now we have this person saying, this is evil. And then Jackson Hinkle responds saying, agreed, ban GTA 6. And perhaps the stupidest tweet of all time and by far my favorite is this one right here from Jackson Hinkle. Quote, why are the Zionists... <laughs> at Rockstar Games releasing the sexualized video game for children in America. Get hashtag ban GTA 6 trending right now. Now, as you can see, the community notes follows up by saying that Rockstar Games, uh, they're usually rated M for mature, and I'm sure that GTA 6 will also be rated M for mature, meaning it's for adults. But the best part, quote, Rockstar is not affiliated with any Zionist movement. This user is known for spreading misinformation to boost engagements and interactions, just obliterating him there. Now, one more from Jackson Hinkle. I was offered to be in GTA 6. Oh, sure. I can't speak much about it. But like you, I was disgusted by the level of degenerate filth in the trailer. So I told Rockstar to fuck off in a world... <laughs> <laughs> In a world plagued by only fans and porn, I pray that Rockstar Games finds God and bans GTA 6. Yes, Rockstar, pray to the Lord and then ban your own game. And again, the community note came in clutch. As of the release of the trailer, GTA 6 is near complete with its script writing having been finalized in May of 2023. Jackson's claim that he was offered a role in the game as late as after the release of the trailer would be impossible given the development timeline. Amazing. These people are the biggest fucking dipshits on the planet. Holy shit. Now, if you're feeling a sense of deja vu, that is completely understandable since we have already lived through a moral panic over video games, as I mentioned earlier, in the 1990s. But the difference between then and now is that we've had decades of evidence to confirm that video games don't actually turn people into violent psychopaths. Now, another difference is that we now have Twitter, which is a platform that rewards people who generate engagement. So this incentivizes outrageous statements that get attention because that engagement is how these grifters make their money. So the entire conversation around GTA 6, having a trans character, being too sexual, it's inauthentic. It's not organic. It's all astroturfed by grifters who want to make money off of these conversations. But that's not to say that GTAs don't typically generate controversy because they do. But in a world where Twitter is owned by Elon Musk, I expect controversy to be louder than ever since that is what is incentivized on the platform. But if these conservatives think that they can pull off a Bud Light and bring down Rockstar or GTA for being too woke or too offensive or for featuring a trans character, by all means, please go ahead and try to do that because it would be the biggest failure 
ever because this game is going to be massive perhaps one of if not the biggest video game release in history so i look forward to playing it and uh all these dipshits can cope and seethe and cry because regardless the game is going to be outstanding and i don't care what they say they're just denying themselves joy if they choose to clutch their pearls rather than play it so do what you want to do don't play it play it but i'll be playing it it looks fucking amazing woke mom Woke test. Woke 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 Woke